Hello and welcome as today is the completion of the 7th day of uh, December 2019. My name is Derek. This is the Money Charts channel. Let's take a quick look at the crypto markets. There's a few of them starting off within Bitcoin. Against the US dollar, prices remain in the 18 average. Coming up to the 18 average of highs within the last few days here. Starting a little bit of a fall. We can see this on the single hour term time frame. Uh, at least as soon as it comes up. Here we go. As we have this uh, rally in here, falling lower than I thought it was, but making some higher highs and higher lows up to this uh, high at uh, midnight uh, or about uh, 20 or so hours ago. It's 2100 hours as I'm doing this, New York time. Breaking the support earlier just a few hours ago and has already come down in this area where it came from. And really, when you look at this, must hold area for this move at least is in the 7200. If it doesn't hold that, it's blowing, falling below here, then we're just, it's a move down the 18 average or just doesn't hold below here that means breaking below we're talking about going down yeah 68 i don't think it's going to be good support or good likely that the 67 68 would be that play to like the low 6000 if it happens getting above this and that's what it needs to do to even attempt to uh get this into a bullish trend again we can see this attempt failed but it needs to get really to uh near 8000 for it to have a real pure 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 move anyway let's move on to altcoins first off komodo and i'm going to be very curious to see how this thing moves forward because i'm out of this now i've been mentioning i was going to just mainly because of the uh uh the, the wallet issues binance things like that so i've turned this into two other coins i took all my komodo and really a small amount of my litecoin because i was already trading it against litecoin anyway Probably just a small a handful of percentage, like three, four percent, maybe three percent of my Litecoin, and all my Komodo, and turn it into two other coins, 50 50 each. The first being Dash, and it's in at uh, the 70 handle. I guess Bitcoin anyway, and it's been in this big bear market, like a lot of them have. But my theory is if I, I, I love the chances Dash survives if Bitcoin survives. And that's really what it comes down to. So I like its overall net survival rate. And I like the situation, because when this thing goes, at least it has in the past, you can't really see it on the Binance chart. That's how long it's been since it's had some of these moves. That there can be just some ferocious moves, especially with situations like this, with the long uh, bear market that it has been going through. So I'll be cross-trading this with uh, another coin that I've been liking lately in a good bullish setup, that of Tezos. And it comes at a very interesting point. I talked about this yesterday. Oh, all we're having is exitation of the 18. I don't like the chances too much of good resistance here at like 19 high change. Well, now it's barely broken over 2,000. How do you do? We'll see what happens. So that's my new cross that I got. Tezos and Dash. We'll see how it plays out. Uh, tomorrow morning, I'm going to be putting out the gold and silver videos. And for today, just a quick little uh, how do you do uh, reminder. And uh, yeah, just going over just a quick update here. But yeah, not much else is changing on here. Uh, our time frame, short term, we can see that it just recently had its move. I made the trade in around like low 1900s I bought in. And I'm thinking, yeah, it just looks like it's going to do exactly what I see it's doing. It's now broken above established resistance. I'm thinking there's a decent chance this is going to propel a little bit higher. And I'll be looking for now this area of 1912 up to 1970 or so to be that of support. Thank you for tuning in and have yourself a great day and a great uh, rest of the weekend. Bye-bye.